There's a new function just released in the beta version of Excel that will save you a ton of time. It's called Trim Range, and it's nothing like the Trim function. Trim Range automatically detects the cell range your data occupies and expands and contracts with it. So you no longer need to write dynamic named range formulas with offset or index. Plus, there's a new dot operator shorthand for Trim Range that simplifies referencing dynamic ranges even further. It's got the Excel fans on Reddit excited about how this new functionality will simplify and streamline formulas. Now, trim range is still in preview, so keep in mind that the syntax and functionality may change before it's generally available. Okay, let's take a look at them in action. Here I have a table containing sales data by product, and I need to bring in the category field, so I'll use XLOOKUP. What are we looking up? My products. Now I want to add more data to this table, so I'm going to extend down past the end to allow for growth. Comma, my lookup array are my products here, and my return array are the categories. Close parentheses on XLOOKUP, and it spills the results, but notice a load of errors for the empty rows, which I can obviously handle by pressing F2. We'll go in and we'll use the if not found argument to return a blank. Now my errors are gone. But you can see this is just a mask. The formula is still calculating and returning a result for those empty rows, making Excel do unnecessary work. And while this example is small, many people work with huge data sets where this extra work can impact performance. So the current workaround is to write dynamic range formulas, either with offset, or we could use index, which is slightly more complicated, or even to col. And these functions all detect the range size but now we can use trim range to do it. Let's try it out. Here again, I'm going to X lookup. Now in the lookup value, I'm going to use the new trim range function to detect the range size. So the range are my products, again, allowing for growth, comma. In the row trim mode argument, I specify what I want to trim, zero for none, one for leading empty rows, two for trailing empty rows, or three for both, which is also the default, so you could just leave it blank. I'm going to go with two for trailing empty rows. And then we also have a column trim mode, but I only have one column in this formula, so I'm going to leave that blank. Close parentheses on trim range, comma, and then I just need my lookup array, which are the products, and the return array, which are the categories. Close parentheses, press enter, and now we have a much more efficient formula without any redundant calculations. And if I add some more data, I've got some here. Let's paste it in at the bottom. You can see it automatically expands to include those new rows. However, when you compare this formula with trim range to using two col, there's no real advantage. But when you use the new dot range operator, things become much easier. There are three ways we can use the dot operator. We can place it after the colon operator to trim trailing blanks, before the colon operator to trim leading blanks, or either side of the colon to trim both leading and trailing blanks. Unlike trim range, we don't specify whether we're trimming rows or columns. The dot range operator will automatically trim both. Let's take a look. We'll use XLOOKUP again. We're looking up the products and allowing for growth. And then after the colon and before L32, we put the dot operator, comma, and then my lookup array are the products and the return array are the categories. Close parentheses on XLOOKUP, press enter, very nice. Let's get some extra data and just test it out. I'll paste it in at the bottom and it expands accordingly without any redundant calculations or complex nested formulas. I think you'll agree the new trimref dot operator is an elegant way to handle dynamic ranges without all the hassle of writing extra formulas and defining names. Of course, you might be thinking, why don't we just use tables and structured references, which automatically expand? And you should. But formulas that spill arrays, including some lambdas, can't go in tables. So this functionality is much needed. Let's look at a lambda example. Lambda formulas can be pretty daunting, but the new trim range dot operator makes them much easier. For example, here I've got a biro formula that calculates the average score for each student. You can see it spills an array and the range is hard keyed. 
so there's no room for more students to be added without also editing the range. If you wanted to make it automatically include new students, you could use a take formula with count A, and this would return a dynamic range, but it's more complicated and cumbersome. However, with the new trim range dot operator, we can simplify the formula and have it update with new data. Let's take a look. So the array are the results for my current students plus some blank rows to allow for growth. And I'm going to use the dot range operator to dynamically adjust that range as my data grows. Comma. And then we use lambda here. I need to give my by row range a name. We'll call it row range. And then I'm going to find the average of my row range. Close parentheses on average, close lambda, close by row, press enter. And now if I have more students, you can see my by row automatically updates without me having to edit it or write a complicated nested formula to automatically expand. Pretty exciting. Now, if you want to learn more about Biro, I'll put a link in the video description to my video on it. Another place you can leverage trim range and the trim ref dot operator is with data validation. So I'll insert a data validation list here and in the source, I'm going to select these categories and allow for more categories to be added. And then in front of the dollar sign, I'm going to place the dot operator, click OK. If we look at the list, we've got the four items. And if I add in a new one, we'll just call it test. We can see the same reference here has included test. And let's take a look at the data validation list. There's test. And if we add another one, for example, insert test two, click on the drop down. We now have first test and then the blank row and test two. So we can see that it is automatically adapting to the data. While trim range and the trim ref dot operator are super exciting, they're not without limitations. If you're using it to reference whole columns like I am here, do not use the evaluate formula tool because it will return some hieroglyphics and probably crash Excel. That's currently the behavior, but Microsoft are working on a fix and I'm sure by the time it's generally available, it will be working as expected. If you thought you'd like to use it with VStack or HStack or even some to reference 3D ranges, that is ranges that reference multiple sheets, think again, it currently doesn't work with them anyway. Trim range and the trim ref dot operator are accepted in conditional formatting rules. As we can see here, I've got trim range referencing my range of cells, but they aren't recognized in the applies to field. However, I found that when you use them in the formula here, and then you add data to cells in the range being referenced. It resulted in the applies to range automatically including these cells, but as you can see, it's fragmented the references. So it's a bit messy. Now this might improve before it's generally available. We'll have to wait and see. Unfortunately, pivot tables don't allow you to use the trim range or trim ref dot operator. If we look at the data source here, you can see it's referencing these cells. If I put the dot operator in here, click OK, it appears to accept it, but if we go back in, you'll see it simply removed it. And lastly, the dot operator is quite difficult to see, and I expect it will be easily missed. We MVPs have gone back to Microsoft with various suggestions for alternatives. My suggestion was to use two dots because this will be easier to see, and it's still easy to type. Plus, it's similar to the dot range operator we have in Power Query. Whether this and other aspects of these new features change or not before general availability remains to be seen. At the time of recording, trim range and the new trim ref dot operator feature are only available to 50% of users on the 365 beta channel. So if you don't have it, don't be surprised. It took me five PCs before I found one that had it. While you're waiting to get your hands on trim range, check out this video on nine array shaping functions that enable you to rearrange data like never before. There's also a free cheat sheet and practice file included to help you get up to speed. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next video.